Help me get one more. This movie follows the real life story of the conscientious objector, Herod Desmond Doss in World War II, who served as a battlefield medic and refused to carry any sort of weapon due to him being a Seventh day Adventist Christian. During his military training, he was ostracized and beaten up by his fellow soldiers, as well as even going as far to getting court martialed for his beliefs. Despite this, Desmond went on to save over 70 lives at the Battle of Hexall Ridge. Directed by Mel Gibson, the film was released on November 6, 2016 featuring the likes of Andrew Garfield, Teresa Palmer, Vince Vaughn, Sam Warrington, Hugo Weaving, Luke Bracey, and many more. It was well received, receiving two Academy Awards as well as receiving three nominations at the Golden Globes, along with awards at the British Academy Film Awards. Today, I will be analysing the film crafts of cinematography as well as mise-en-scene. First for cinematography, I will be covering camera movements. Most of the dialogue scenes are simple cutting between simple over-the-shoulder shots. However, by doing this, Mel Gibson really allows the performances from the actors like Andrew Garfield, Hugo Weaving, Vince Vaughn, and Teresa Palmer to really shine through. Describing Garfield's performance, Mel Gibson claimed that it was conveying a lot with nothing. However, this was abandoned for a short scene. In this scene, Desmond was having a moment of serious doubt. For the first time in the film, he was unsure of his faith in God and his beliefs. As you can see in other scenes, the camera is steady as it moves towards Desmond as he speaks, similar to his inner faith. However, in this scene, the camera is handheld, resulting in a shot that is shaky and unstable, reflecting his inner turmoil. Although Desmond's belief have been attacked many times throughout the film, this was the first time his faith was truly shaken, and this is shown very well through the decreased stability of the camera. Soon after, when Desmond hears the cries of the soldiers, he is convicted to once again enter Hexall Ridge to rescue the wounded. For this scene, the camera steadies, giving us a stable shot, reflecting Desmond's renewed conviction. This shaky movement is used again in Desmond's dream sequences. The shaky camera movement, in direct contrast to other scenes where the camera is stable, indirectly tells the audience that what was going on was not actually happening but was in Desmond's mind. The film also made use of several different camera movements to great effect. For example, point of view shots help the audience to feel the fear of the soldiers walking onto an unknown battlefield, as well as the battalion being in awe after Desmond's miraculous return from the ridge. Slow motion was also used in the film for dramatic effect. For example, it brought attention to Desmond's fearful expression as well as the stone-cold indifference of his officers in the courtroom scene. It also allowed the hidden attack from the Japanese and Desmond's quick response to unfold spectacularly. If the scenes were to unfold in real time, it would be over in a matter of seconds, taking away the wow factor from the courtroom scene as well as the film's climatic finale. Now, moving on to mise-en-scene. Firstly, the colour plays an important part in the design of various locations. There was a contrasting colour palette between civilian life versus life in the military and war. This was done on purpose as the neutral colours allowed the focus to be on the family said production designer Barry Robinson. In the film, the colour palette shifts from the neutral palette of civilian life to one of brown and reds in the camp, and later to the green and greys of the battlefield, which provided a stark contrast between places of peace and war. It is also used earlier in the film to reflect the mental state of Desmond Doss in the prison cell. The black and white represents Desmond's inner turmoil as he struggled between doing what he desired and doing the right thing. Second, costume design. The costume design in this film was done to replicate the fashion of the 1940s, as well as the old style military uniform of World War II, once again adding to the realism that makes Hexall Ridge an amazing film. In some of the scenes where the characters are not all clad in military gear, the colour of the costumes is also used to portray the different sides of a conflict. In the courtroom scene, the judge, leaders of Desmond's unit, the military police, and even the defence attorney are dressed in the same beige uniform. On the other hand, Desmond is dressed in his green training uniform. Later on, when his father barges into the courtroom to present the letter to the judge, he is wearing his war uniform, which is a similar shade of green, representing his support for his son and his beliefs. Lastly, set design. Interiors in the film were painted with pastel colours and were designed to have minimal decoration. This was done on purpose in order to capture the simplicity of the times said production designer Barry Robinson. 
The field where battle sequences were shot was initially a dairy farm, which was then converted by Mel Gibson to become what it was in the film. Sophisticated underground drainage systems were built into the field in order to allow practical effects such as the fog and explosions to be safely used on the set. On the battlefield set, Mel Gibson's trademark gory, violent scenes are evident in the film, with bullet-torn bodies, corpses and guts covering the battlefield. This was done to the extent that it was downright disturbing, showing rats and maggots chewing on bodies and internal organs. The gruesome set portrays war in an unglamorous and realistic way, which in my opinion is a great contrast to the compassionate and wholesome story of Desmond Doss. Moving on to my last segment, my evaluation of the film. To me, Hexor Ridge is a film showing the worst of humanity, man against man, killing like primitives and without a second thought. It shows blood and gore, and in no way is meant for the faint-hearted. However, it is also a film showing the best of humanity. It shows the stubborn resilience of men. It shows how the worst situations can bring out the best in us. It shows the strength of the human spirit and how it can conquer anything. Also, despite having a Christian as a main character, the film does not promote Christianity in any way, but rather focuses on showing a man staying true to what he believes, making Hexhall Rich relatable for even non-Christians, which I feel is amazing. There is no doubt that the film is entertaining, the unbelievable performances, the brilliantly shot battle scenes, an epic score from composer Rupert Gregson Williams will keep you captivated for the duration of the film. Overall, it's a sincere and heartfelt film and definitely worth watching.